uh, here we are, Marshall Landing Country Club, hole one, par four. Uh, it's got a force carry, it's 330 yard par four. Uh, but if you can't go carry over 260, you need to lay up windy day. So we'll see how this all works out. Have a seven wood. Got that one. Just up on the right. All right, we got wind dead in our face. We ended up over here in the uh, in the right rough. 108 is the distance. I got a, a pitching wedge. My head knocked down. We probably have at least a two club wind. It's blowing about 20 right in our face right now. So, uh, so I'm trying to do a little knockdown pitching wedge. Looked pretty good. Might have went a touch long. Let's see. Okay, I actually ended up about 10 yards short. So that's what we're dealing with today. Uh, short sided chip here. Need to fly it 10, 10 yards or so. Try to put myself in a position to get up and down. All right, that one worked out pretty well. Got a downhiller, so let's see if we can get par. I left myself uh, about eight feet, eight feet for par. Downhill, a little bit left to right, not too much in it, so let's see. Actually, I think it's going to be just outside right edge, right to left, up here. Super fast. That was a quick one. Barely touched it. Hole number two. Hole number two, Marshland and Country Club. Uh, 385 yard, par four, pretty straight away. I'm gonna try to pull one down here, get something in play. Not make any mistakes here. off the toe but right down the middle all right my drive uh, left us 113 yards to the pin still have wind in the face so still dealing with we're gonna be dealing with that all day but uh, 113 pins in the back I'm gonna try and knock down wedge again I, I can't get my my gap wedge there in this wind so see if we can get it pretty close
that one was long. Flew the green a little too much. I left myself back here in the rough and uh, short sided again. Just need to put a little bit under this one and uh, hopefully get it to stop pretty quick. Oh, bad kick. Oh, okay. That's all right. All right, we're putting. Okay, I've left myself another quick downhill putt. A little bit of a double breaker. Uh, it's going to want to go right at first and kind of back left. So I'm going to, I'm just going to take it straight at it and uh, try to get my speed right. I get two up and downs. That is uncommon. I'll break back. All right, this is a pretty cool little par three. Force carry almost all the way up to the green. Elevated tee box. Pin's 157, but we got a lot of wind in the face. So, I mean, I'm gonna have to, uh, I'm gonna have to take a six iron here. Just, I don't, I'm not really good like knock down shots, so I just club up. Oh, don't be too long. Sit down. Hit a house. Stop. Just flew the green. Needed a seven. Oh, okay. okay, I flew the green by, I don't know, eight, ten yards. Rolled down the hill a little bit. Uh, I think I had the right idea with the wind in the face. Just one club, too many. But short, short would have been his death here. So, uh, just hit it a little too good. So. Third hole in a row that I'm having to do, having to try to get up and down, try to get some par. Don't do that. There it is. There it is. Okay. All right, I dumped that one. Reposition the camera to take a little mental break. And uh, this will be for par, a little par chip. Par chip up here, a little bit clean. I'm gonna roll down this hill. Roll, go. Go. Not terrible. Not terrible. I have a bogey putt. A bogey putt here is uh, 14 or so feet. I think it's going to want to go a little bit right on me. It's downhill. I'm going to want to funnel a little bit to the right. A little dog leg right uh, par four here you know kind of the whole point of this channel was uh kind of document hold myself accountable 
uh, going as a mid handicapper to uh, try to get down to scratch. I know it's a lofty goal, uh, but you know, they say the way to do that is to not have doubles. And so trying to eliminate those, had one on hole three, hole four, let's, let's try to pull it back together a little bit. Wind is coming off the left now. So we made a little turn, wind's off the left. Let's hit a nice drive, let's hit a nice drive. Oh no. All right, shot number three. Shot number three after that, so. Wind's a little bit more than I thought. I just need to get down, get through this ball, get it out there. Golfer two, golfer two, always win. All right, shot number four. Love to make a bogey out of this. Uh, that first one was a mile right. So we got 83 yards, I got my 52 degree gap wedge. Uh, it's gonna close my stance up a little bit more narrow and uh, try to hit about a 80 yard shot, hit an 80 yard shot that uh, Hopefully sticks this green in a good range. Come back. Come back. All right, I left myself a downhiller. 20 feet, a little bit left to right. This will be a great bogey to make. What was I say at the beginning about the uh, reducing double bogeys? Okay, we're on hole five. Hole five. Five over. Five over after four. So, uh, par four. Little bit of a dog leg left. About 400 yards. Try to send one up near those pine trees up there. Shot number two, so we, yeah, we, we are in the fairway. Uh, 150. The, I'm on this uphill slope, so uh, it's going to loft my club a little bit, I think. I got a lot of room in the front of the green, not a lot of room in the back, so I'm going to take a pitching wedge, use this helping wind, hopefully try to get uh, in a spot where I can get a, a par here. So. Birdie putt, uh, about 20, 25 feet or so. Right to left, downhill, be quick, got wind pushing it as well. 
So uh, this will try to get it close here. Lag it close, big speed putt. Slow down, slow down. Oh, I absolutely man. hammered that. Oh, easy par. A great second shot. This one should be pretty straight and it's uphill. So don't leave it short. Don't put it all the way to the camera. Inside left edge. Mm. All right, hole six. We're six over after five. Coming into hole six here. 500 yard par five. Uh, dog leg right. We're kind of taking up the right side. Uh, so, see if we can put a good one on it. Aim kind of right, right, right center of the fairway. Maybe I'll hit a little bit of cut. Bounced it left off the tree. Oh man. Okay, shot two. I clipped a pine tree right here, which kind of actually saved me from going uh, OB. Having another one of those today. So uh, I got a mile, <laughs> a mile. Uh, have you seen a worse golf shot than what I just hit? So I'm just gonna choke up a three wood, get down there as close as I can try to get up and down this uh can't go for it now so all right so now we're just up on the left side hopefully within 100 yards i call that a little bit better than i thought i guess i left myself a little uh Left myself a little 50 yard pitch here, so. Let's try to ease one up there. Pins at the very front, so we got plenty of room on the back, a backstop. I am in the rough though, so I don't plan on getting spin. Not that I can get spin on the ball anyway. One of those right there. Nice and smooth, take it clean. Go. Roll down. So Roll it worked down. out. It's left on the front front fringe. Uh, not mad about that. We'll uphill our for birdie. Maybe 12 feet, something like that. How about the wind blowing today? Uh, 35? Oh, cool. Let's go. Uh, let's go film some golf. All right, we got a uh, par three here. Hole number seven. It's 150. This much wind. I'm taking an eight iron. Use my 165 club. Probably still not enough club, uh, but there's some room in the front. All right, wait for it to settle a touch. Oh, it's coming backwards. That's coming all the way back. 
All right, I left myself a long pitch here. Let's see if we can get it up and down, get a par, keep this thing going. Put it over the bunker, up the hill. It's gonna be uphill from there, so. Not that one. I am not doing myself any favors today. Uphill, right to left. Right to left, probably gonna break a good three or four feet from up here, so. Let's lag it in there. Maybe the hole get in the way. Try to keep some good speed on it. Get legs. Get up there. All right, that's pretty good. All right, we got hole number hole number eight here, par five, 500 yards. There's a forced carry, forced carry down there, so it's 500 yards. Uh, you want a good drive, and you're going to have to lay up. We got hurting. Oh, dude, hurting. right to left wind on this so i thought those guys in front of me were done and they're not i think they're on shot number 17 right now Good drive. So after uh, after a pretty good drive, it's from here. It would be two 250 yards, 250 yards to carry the hazard, and then another 20 yards to the green. I, I don't have. I don't think I have any club that carries 250. So uh, not even the driver. So nine iron, 150 yard layup, and. Uh, then try to put one close. Here we are, shot three. Shot three, after my layup, we got 150 to the pin, so a lot of room up front. I'm gonna hit the nine iron. You don't wanna go long on this hole. I'll be good, go. I'm gonna have to get up there and look at that. I think I got the right kick off the hill. Oh, ho, oh, oh. ho. All right, hold nine. Par four, 400 yards, pretty straight uh, away here. Wind's dead in the face. Uh, seven over, seven over after eight. Uh, you know, I've, I've, I've had two fairways, three fairways, three greens regulation. So that kind of, there's the story on that, but let's keep this thing going. I think 
Yeah, All right, get ready for our approach shot here. At 165, wind is uh, off the right. I'm gonna hit an eight iron. I've been trying to work on this, like shallow. I have this like little, like this a, a little over the top move where I steepen. And uh, I've been working on this kind of shallowing thing, trying to turn through the ball a little bit better. I guess we'll see over time if people watch, uh, the ball of stuff starts working out. That wind is cranking. I'm just going to uh, send one up on the right side of the green and let the wind kind of take it. Over that bunker. Or just chunk it short. Oh, what a terrible shot. All right, well, I've left myself another pitch shot here. Uh, about 40-ish, about 40 yards. Ball's a little above my feet, so I'm taking a 52. Choking up on a little bit. One of those. Just get up on the green. Get yourself a putt. I feel like that sand like would go underneath this ball. It's sitting up. All right, here's a little par chip. Oh, par chip. Uh, I don't know that really, I maybe pit chip something in like five times ever, like maybe five times I could like chip one in. So maybe I'd get one on film in the wind. Save a par. hammered it. I flew that all the way to the pin. 